if you're having trouble choosing your wedding colors, maybe knowing the meanings behind them and the vibes that come with them can kind of help you pick your colors. I love the idea of choosing one that kind of goes with your personality and one that goes with your partner's personality um, and maybe one that symbolizes your relationship and putting those together to create a palette. I feel like that's so much more meaningful than just picking something off Pinterest. <laughs> Hey Bridal Beauties, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. I'm Kyle James. Be sure that you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I post new wedding planning videos every single week. Um, and if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing a bridesmaid's dress. <laughs> um, no, I don't usually do that in my spare time. Well, maybe, but um, I just shot a Birdie Gray Bridesmaids Dress try-on video, so be sure that you go watch that one after this. I just love this dress so much that I was like, why not film another video in it? I just love it. It's so pretty. Um, so be sure you go watch that one next. I will link it in the description below. So I know you girls love my wedding color videos, but I know that a lot of you are so stuck in picking which colors you actually want because there's just so many choices. Certain colors are used in interior design and fashion and everything um, to symbolize certain things or for the vibes that they create. So I was like, why don't we use that in weddings? In this video, I'm going to go through the meanings and the vibes behind each color and then I'll also give you some color palette ideas for each one as well. So let's dive right in. We're gonna start with my favorite color and that is pink. Pink symbolizes nurture, warmth, and playfulness. I just love this color and it actually perfectly describes my personality as well. <laughs> So for each color, I'm going to go through the like meanings and the vibes as well as the top shades for each color. Um, and then once I get through all the colors, I'll start putting them together into palettes for you. So the top colors for pink right now are Party Pink, Blush, Dusty Rose, and Fuchsia. So I think you get more of that like nurture and warmth feeling from the more neutral pinks like the blush and the dusty rose um, and then the more playful feeling from the party pink and the fuchsia. Next we have red which symbolizes energy, passion, love, determination, and ambition. And the top colors for red right now are grenadine, winery, cinnamon stick, and flame scarlet. And just in case you're wondering, I am not making these names up as I go. <laughs> I'm not that creative. Um, these are actually Pantone colors. I just want to make sure that if you find a color that you love, that you can actually search for it and find it. I will also be sharing some bridesmaids dress options for each color palette um, when I'm going through those at the end. So be sure that you stick around for that. So if you're going for like a loud, passionate, or romantic feel for your wedding, red is perfect for you. And then we, next we have orange. And in case you're wondering, yes, I'm doing these in order of the rainbow. Um, so next we have orange and it's another high intensity color. Orange symbolizes health and vitality, which is a great thing to celebrate on your wedding day. Um, and then it also symbolizes creativity and enthusiasm. So this is a intense, happy, bright color. My top shades for orange are bright marigold, iced mango, harvest pumpkin, and coral rose. Then we have yellow, which is the color of happiness, hope, and positivity. I love the idea of having hope, happiness, and positivity as like the symbol of your wedding. I think that's really beautiful. The top shades of yellow right now are high visibility, lemon fizz, sunshine, and bumblebee. And next we have green, and green is the color of money. Just kidding. Well, I mean it is. But green also symbolizes nature, growth, and harmony. And there is nothing more on trend than like going green and minimalism right now. So if you're into that, then green might be a good choice for you. The top shades of green right now are lime zest, pepper stem, which is like more of an olive green. Um, then we have myrtle and sage. And I have some really beautiful sage bridesmaid dress ideas I can show you when I'm going through palettes at the end of this. 
And next we have blue. Obviously I love blue as well. Dusty blue is my favorite wedding color for sure. Um, and blue is the color of chill, which doesn't really symbolize my personality. <laughs> but it also represents trustworthiness, intelligence, and peace. So that's super sweet meaning as well. Some of these definitions and vibes might seem a little bit all over the place to you, um, but you can totally just pick which ones speak to you and run with that. So the top shades of blue are nobility, one of my favorites, dusty blue, Biscay Bay, which is a more teal blue, um, and then we have Poseidon. Also, while I'm going through colors or while I'm going through palettes, if you see something that you really love, I recommend just pausing the video and taking a screenshot of that so that you can add it to your Pinterest board. Next, we have purple, which traditionally symbolizes royalty and luxury. It's also associated with authenticity, imagination, and spirituality. I just love the meanings behind purple. The top shades of purple right now are grape, wisteria, lavender fog. I love that one. That's so pretty. Um, and magenta purple. Next, I'm just going to really quickly go through the meanings behind the neutrals. Um, I just think it adds so much to have the definitions and the vibes behind them before I put them together into palettes for you. So let's go through those really quick. Then we have brown. Brown can symbolize comfort, wholesomeness, and honesty. The next color is black, which you may not typically think of as a wedding color, but it can be done very, very beautifully. Black is the color of sophistication and elegance. And then we have white, which is the typical wedding color because it symbolizes purity and perfection. And it's also the color of minimalism as well. So if you're doing like a white and green wedding, that would be really, really beautiful um, if your theme is minimalist. And then we have gray. Gray is a very popular wedding color. And gray symbolizes stability and practicality. All right, let's get into the part that I'm sure you've all been anxiously waiting for, the color palettes. So I'm going to start with something super simple, and then I will add some more colors into this. Um, so first we have white plus greenery. So this palette is super easy, clean, simple. You get the meaning of purity and perfection from the white, and then you bring in the meanings of nature, growth, and harmony from the greens. This palette is fantastic if you are going for a more minimalist look. Um, it's also great if you have a venue that has a lot of color already existing, like a bunch of different flowers um, or some other colors that are already there. You don't want to take away from the natural beauty or the beauty of your venue by adding too much of your own colors and then having them clash. The bridesmaid dress that I'm showing here is from Birdie Gray. I actually tried this exact dress on for my bridesmaid dress try on video. You can go watch that after this. And I just love it. It is a stunning dress, a stunning color. I highly recommend it if you are going with a green color to take a look at this dress. This is the Grace Convertible dress in sage green. I will link the dress and my bridesmaid dress try on video below. You can also use this palette as a base and then add on another color that means something to you. Um, so you're still keeping that like perfection of what your relationship is now and growth and harmony for your future that you get from the green and then we can add on other colors. So maybe you want the chill vibes of the blue so you could add in dusty blue to this palette as well. Um, you could do this by adding in a dusty blue bridesmaid dress. The one that I'm showing here is the same dress as the one on the right. It's just in dusty blue. So you could have some of your girls in dusty blue and some in sage, but they would be in the same dress and that would um, kind of bring the look all together. You could also add some blue touches on your tables as well as like maybe around your flowers, some blue ribbons around your flowers and stuff like that. Just little blue touches here and there. I'm going to have most of it be the white and greenery. You could also do the white and greenery plus add some warmth and playfulness into that with blush and mauve. Um, and you could add this in, in your bridesmaid dresses, in your flowers, um, and on your tables as well. If you have the white and greenery as a base, you really can add pretty much any color that you want to it. 
This next palette I created based on the meaning of health, wealth, and happiness, which are great things to wish on your relationship <laughs> and celebrate in your relationship. Um, so for the health piece, we have the orange, the wealth, the greens, and then the happiness, the yellows. And obviously this is a pretty bold palette, but you could play with the different shades of the different colors to get a less intense palette or a more intense palette depending on the season that you're in, your venue, um, and the colors that you love. I will also have the inspiration photos and those bridesmaids dresses linked below. Another way that you can build your palette is by picking one color that represents you, one color that represents him, and then one color that represents your relationship or what you wish for your relationship in the future. So for example, I did something that kind of rep represents me and my relationship. So for me, I would pick pink, which is the warmth and the playfulness. And then for him, I would say the blue best represents him. He's very chill and trustworthy and intelligent <laughs> um, and then the color for us I would say would be the green which represents the growth and harmony that I would want for our future also something to notice here is these colors do seem like kind of a lot together um, but you don't have to have every single color in every single piece of your wedding so you can have like blue bridesmaids dresses and pink flowers and have it all like work together. You don't have to have blue and pink bridesmaid dresses, blue and pink flowers, blue and pink everything. Um, you can just have certain pieces be certain colors and then they kind of all end up tying together. Another example of a for me, for him, for us palette would be the wisteria plus blue and then you could do gray and green neutrals as well. Um, so the for me one would be the purple. So maybe you are super imaginative or you like the luxury or royalty vibe. Um, so purple for you and then for him you have the blue so maybe he is chill and then the gray which represents the stability. And then for us you could have the growth and harmony in the greens. Um, another good idea is to just pick a color for you and then actually let him pick the colors. Maybe have him watch this video and get the meanings from them or just let him pick his favorite color um, and then pick the for us color together. Also remember that I linked everything below, the bridesmaid dresses, any of the inspiration. If you like it, scroll through those links in the description and you can find it there. All right, now I'm going to pick up the pace here and kind of blast you with a ton of different color palette ideas using these colors that I showed you and the meanings behind them to create something really beautiful. If you like any of these, be sure that you just pause the video and screenshot them and you can save them that way. Um, and also let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites or if you need help building one as well. Let's start with that pretty and pink color. I just love it. It's so pretty and so playful. Um, so if you're wanting to work playful, the playful meaning into your colors, the pinks, that party pink is definitely a very playful pop. <laughs> um, I like to pair that with the magenta purple and the coral rose to give you the meanings of authenticity and energy. Um, and then you can also add some like tannish neutrals that bring the meaning of comfort and wholesomeness into it. I love this palette. I think you can do it in any season and you can definitely add more or less of each color depending on your preferences. So this palette actually has the exact same meanings as the prior one. Um, I just chose some different shades to get a different look. So you can definitely use the color moods to pick the ones that you want but then within each color you can pick a shade that speaks to you and really build a beautiful palette that you love. This palette is definitely one of my favorites. I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Um, and it brings in the playful and warmth with the pinks, but then you get the growth with the sage green. Um, and then the comfort and wholesomeness with some like light tan neutrals as well. The birdie gray bridesmaids dresses are actually perfect for this one and you could mix and match, but they have all of these colors in really pretty dresses. So um, be sure that you check out the links below if you wanna do that and if you like this palette. So for this one I just swapped out that green color for a blue and you could really put in any blue here that you wanted. I think it would always look amazing. Um, so if you like the darker blue that kind of would work better in the fall and winter or maybe you want a dusty blue or a lighter blue. 
for a spring or summer wedding, um, but any blue color that you put in there is going to be great as well. Also, if you want a little bit less pink in your palette, you could just use like the dusty rose color and then actually do two different shades of the green. Um, I love the meaning on this one with the nurture and harmony um, and then also the growth. And instead of doing the brown neutrals, I brought in the light gray neutrals to symbolize strength and stability. If you like that pink color as well, but you wanted something a little bit more bold, I love this palette. Um, I love the, that it symbolizes playfulness, passion, and vitality. Um, so it's just more of a bold palette. I think you could definitely make this work in any season. Obviously, it seems a little bit more fall-like, um, but you could always swap out different colors of orange to make it work for any season. Also remember that it's totally up to you how much of each color you use. Um, for something like this, you could totally just do mostly like dusty rose and the light gray neutrals. Um, so like have your bridesmaids in dusty rose dresses and just keep everything pretty neutral. And then maybe just do the red and orange in your floral. Um, so in your bridesmaids bouquets and the centerpieces. And it would really give it that pop of color without being too much. Then if you wanted something even more bold, you could swap out the pink, the dusty rose for the fuchsia and do a brighter orange um, and that will give you an even bolder palette. I think this one would be really beautiful in the summer um, as well. You could also do a couple shades of the pink um, to bring in that playfulness and the warmth and nurture symbolization, um, but then also add in a shade of purple. I love the grape here with this one, um, and that brings in the authenticity meaning. All right, let's do some passion and love palettes for you. Um, I love this two shades of red, one for passion and love, and maybe one for determination and ambition. And then I love adding in the blue here with the trustworthiness and the grays for strength and stability. So you have an amazing relationship if you have all of these things. Um, but this is a more bold palette, so like I've mentioned before, just pick the shades that speak to you um, to either make it more bold or to tone it down a little bit. This palette is kind of along the same lines. We just swapped out one of the reds for another shade of blue. Um, I love this one if you did your girls in shades of blue, different shades of blue bridesmaids dresses and then worked the red into your floral. That would be very, very beautiful. Um, and I love the passion and love meaning plus the peace and trustworthiness. I think that's really beautiful. If you like the passion meaning behind the red, you could also warm up your palette a little bit by adding an orange and a yellow. Here I have the coral rose and the bumblebee with the cinnamon stick. I think this would be a gorgeous palette for a fall wedding. Um, and you could swap out that cinnamon stick for a different shade of red if you wanted to do a more summer feel to this as well. But I love the energy and passion meaning with the creativity and happiness and add in those light neutrals for some comfort and wholesomeness. Another direction with the love and passion palette that you could go is you could add in a purple to, do, to add in imagination or spirituality. Um, I love this one. The more jewel tone theme is definitely very in right now. All right, next let's do some health and vitality, some orange palettes. I love this first one with a couple shades of orange and then adding in a shade of yellow, adding in some sunshine and some hope into your palette. I think that's perfect for a wedding day. You could also swap in a darker yellow here if you wanted a, to do this for your fall wedding. Oh my gosh, I adore this palette. I think it's so pretty. Um, working in the creativity and the vitality with the iced mango and coral rose, but then bringing in the warmth and nurturing feel from the dusty rose. And here's another example just by swapping out one shade of the orange. We have a much more fall or winter feeling palette here um, with the same meanings, but just a different, completely different look. And this one is for you if you are into the orange and the creativity and energy and vitality meaning, um, but you want something a little bit more bold, we can add in some blues with that. It's kind of funny. It is a more bold color palette, but the blues do symbolize like chill and peace. Um, so it's a little bit ironic, I guess. But I think this is a beautiful palette. And instead of doing two shades of blue, you could also bring in a green with this one as well. Bring in that harmony feel. 
This is a very, very beautiful palette for a fall or winter wedding, um, but you could definitely make it work in any season. And you could make it even a little bit more bold if you did the darker blue as well. Let's look at some more palettes with that coral rose color. That's such a beautiful color. Um, and that brings in the health and vitality, and I love putting it with a few shades of green to symbolize the harmony and peace. You could also do that coral color with shades of blue as well. I love it with the dusty blue, but I also love it with a teal color. I think it really makes that coral pop if you were to add in a blue and then a more teal color. Next, let's move on to some positivity and happiness palettes with our yellows. This one is a pretty bold palette. I think it's very beautiful though. Um, do the high visibility yellow with a couple shades of blue. For this one, I would probably put the bridesmaids in shades of blue and then work yellow into the floral. You could also do that bright yellow and bring in the playfulness and energy of pink and orange. I adore this palette. I think it would be really pretty for a spring or summer wedding. You could focus on one or two of the colors and then bring the other ones in in the floral. This one just has such a like fun and playful vibe to it. I love this one. It would be really pretty too to add in a green to that um, and kind of do a citrus theme. And you could also have like real lemons and limes and oranges worked into your decor. That would be so cute. I love the meaning of this one. The positivity and happiness from the yellow and then also bringing in spirituality and peace from purple and blue. I think that's a very beautiful meaning behind that palette. If the blue is too much for you, you could also just do a shades of purple theme with the yellow to kind of like tone it down a little bit. And then if you love yellow and that positivity and happiness theme, but you're getting married in the fall or winter, you could definitely do a more like golden dark yellow like the bumblebee along with those same colors of purple or blue. Um, to kind of make it feel more winter or fall themed. I love that bumblebee color with shades of green as well. Then if you can't decide, you could also do just the bumblebee with a darker blue color and then a lighter green. And that's positivity and happiness with peace and harmony. Let's move on to some green palettes. For this one, it's a pretty bold palette uh, for the green colors. I brought in the meanings of wealth and growth, which are amazing things to wish for your future relationship, um, as well as peace and trust and strength and stability. Also, you might notice I kind of am switching between gray and brown light neutrals. You can really add in any color that you want there, any light neutral. If you want to go more towards gray, the cooler grays or the warmer browns, or you could do like a champagne color or white or any metallic as well. And you really could do that shades of blue with a green, with any shade of green. I think it looks great with a more olive green as well. If you love that olive green color or the shades of green but you want to warm it up a little or give it a little bit more of a feminine touch, you could also work in a dusty rose or one of the shades of pink as well. And here's that same palette with a more like forest green instead of the olive green. For getting a little bit overwhelmed by my bold palettes, <laughs> here's a much more calm and neutral palette for you. You could do shades of green with a gray and some other light neutrals. Or another option is to do a green, like the sage green with the dusty blue with a couple shades of gray as well. That's a pretty calm and chill palette. You could also do that with some browns to bring in that like comfort and wholesomeness and just kind of warm up the whole thing. To bring the brown in, you could use some wood, maybe have um, work some wood into your centerpieces or have some dark wooden signs or something um, to bring in that warm brown color. This would be really pretty for a rustic wedding. I also love shades of blue with the brown neutrals as well. If you wanted to do the piece from the blues, you could also work in a purple and a pink color to bring in spirituality and like the nurture and the warmth. I love this palette, especially if you did 
like the girls in the purple and the pink dresses and maybe work a blue ribbon onto their flowers or something, but then have the guys in the blue with a pink or purple tie. I think I'm going to do a video on how to work your wedding colors into your weddings and the different options for the placement of the colors and how to make each color pop. So be sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss that one when I post it. And here's that same blue, purple, pink palette just with a dusty blue. Um, it gives it a very different look. I also love a shades of blue palette with the dusty rose or really any of those shades of pink would look really great with this. I also love just a shades of blue, just three or more shades of blue palette with some light neutrals is really, really pretty. This one, if you add in the teal, kind of gives it a colors of the sea look, which is really in right now too. If you have one color that you're really loving but you can't figure out another color to put with it, you can totally just do different shades of that same color. So if you're loving the blues, do shades of blue plus light neutrals. You could also do shades of purple with light neutrals. And here's pinks with light neutrals as well. You could do it with reds, and you can do it with oranges, and yellows, and greens. <laughs> Any color that you like, you can definitely just do a shades of that color palette. I love this for your bridesmaids if you're doing mix, mix and match bridesmaids because then they can kind of pick the color that looks best on them, um, and so everybody can look their best for the big day. I think it's so fun to incorporate a little bit more meaning into each and every part of the wedding planning process, even your colors. Um, so I hope this video helped you to at least narrow down your choices. I would love to hear what you ended up picking for your wedding colors. Comment below and let me know. Also, if you need help on completing your palette, let me know as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful. Be sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss any of my upcoming wedding planning videos. And we'll see you next time. Happy planning!